Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's Tech Tip, we'll be taking a look at the Gaumann Spec Suite 2020 inspection software and specifically focusing on a feature known as Trend Analysis. Trend Analysis is a powerful feature in Gaumann Spec that allows us to analyze not the quality of the, just a single sample, but analyze the quality across the population using multiple samples in a single project. This gives us the ability to interrogate the changes in quality and measurements with respect to time. If we are working especially in a high volume production facility where many parts are being produced at a rapid rate and we would like to observe whether there are any sort of effects on the quality depending on the time of day or during the entire production process. So trend analysis gives us the ability to implement statistical process control features. And what we can do is observe these quality measurements in the form of statistical color plots, tables, and diagrams to help illustrate the changes of the measurements across the population. So here we have a sheet metal part that's being inspected and we've already gone ahead and loaded in the CAD model, the scan data, as well as setting up all of the different inspection elements we want to measure. You can see here that this is the scan data of the part that was scanned using the GOM scanner. And if we also take a look at the row at the bottom here, we see that there's a number of different boxes known as stages. Each stage represents a different sample of the part that was scanned and imported into this singular project. And you can see the individual scan data for each of the different stages. So we have a total of 17 individual parts that have been imported and we're going to analyze across the entire population. So for example, we can observe the changes with respect to the quality of the surface comparison plot. So this just gives us a 3D representation of the deviations. And we can see that how that changes between each individual stage. On top of that, we can also take a look at it from a tolerance legend perspective, where red represents areas that are outside of our specified tolerance value. Yellow means that we're getting close to that tolerance value and green means where we're well within the confines of our tolerance bandwidth. You can also take a look at a 2D inspection section, which cuts across the part at a specific plane location. And we can also see how that changes with respect to each of the different samples. Let's go ahead and take a look at hole positions. So if we wanted to identify the deviations of where the centers of these holes are, with respect to the origin, we can see also how that changes between each population. We can observe the hole positions in this sort of manner. We can also take a look at the trim edge inspections using these edge points and see how far they deviate from their intended positions. And here is the ability to actually observe the individual measurements. So these are the same edge points, but instead of being represented individually, we're now seeing it in the form of a trend plot, which goes through all of the 17 different stages that have been included here and gives us the average value for each point, the sigma value, PP, PPK, as well as min and max, which gives us all of these different SPC controls that we can identify and observe. We can also take a look at the mean and range in the form of a color plot as well as CPK and PPK values across the entire population as well. So we can see how the quality of our part changes overall across this entire 17 sample population. So once again, this is using the trend analysis feature in Gaumann Spec, and you can learn more about the software and the feature itself through the GOM.com official website or by checking out the GOM resources page on our website, cadmicro.com. That's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.